Our universe is expanding. If we wind the clock back, it's contracting. In the 1960s, Penrose and Hawking showed the universe would contract all the way to an infinitely hot and dense singularity, a beginning of time itself. But in the 21st century, cosmologists, including Penrose and Hawking themselves, have taken a rather different view. The picture of the Big Bang arose basically from solutions of the Einstein gravitational equations, which started from this singular state. In the 1920s, people like Lemaitre and Einstein at first was not happy with this, but then he became convinced the universe was expanding and that initial singular state seemed to be what his equations were telling us. That singular state would be where the curvature becomes infinite, the densities become infinite. People wondered though whether if you had a more complicated initial state, which was irregular in one way or another, then it might be that there was a previous collapsing phase, or perhaps you could wriggle around and swirl around in some complicated way and come out again like this. But this was shown, well first of all, I had a theorem about black holes, which showed that a collapse, uh, <clears throat> even if you had irregularities, would still land you with these singularities. Uh, and Stephen Hawking picked up on this and showed, uh, and then two of us together, showed that the this applied to the universe as a whole as well, and that the singularities were completely general, that you couldn't get around it by assuming it was regular and complicated. The view was formed that the singularity, the Big Bang, was in fact the beginning of all things, that there was not something prior to that, and that the universe didn't arise from some previous collapse or something like this. It is certainly a view quite commonly expressed now that we shouldn't simply give up that the Big Bang is a singularity, that we need a theory which describes that. Most people would say it's a form of quantum gravity. I have a view which is different from that, but nevertheless, I have in common with that that we need a new theory. The real lesson of the singularity theorems is therefore that we need to combine the general theory of relativity with quantum theory in order to understand the origin of the universe. I don't think anybody believes that the universe started off with the singularity. Uh, that just tells us that Einstein's classical theory of general relativity breaks down. So that classical theory of gravity doesn't apply when you get to very high energies. Um, so it's replaced by some quantum theory, consistent quantum theory of gravity. String theory is a candidate for a theory like this. Was there a Big Bang? Well, the answer depends on what you mean by a Big Bang. If by Big Bang one means an initial hot phase of the universe associated with nuclear synthesis when the elements were formed. Every cosmologist agrees because there is overwhelming evidence that this actually did take place. On the other hand, there is another notion of Big Bang, which would be an absolute beginning at which the curvature of space-time and matter density become infinite. Most cosmologists would not agree that there was such a big bang. A widely held view among cosmologists is that there was an exponentially fast expansion rate in the early universe called inflation. It's usually depicted as happening after the big bang, but this may be an error. People often ask me whether inflation happened before or after the big bang, and uh, the answer to that is a little hard to give really because there's no general agreement really about what exactly uh, the word big bang means. Uh, the phrase was created by Fred Hoyle in a radio program once uh, in the 1940s, uh, and it never really had a, a scientific definition. Scientists are more likely actually to refer to the Big Bang uh, not as the singularity, which we really know nothing about, uh, but rather as the early period of expansion, which we think we know a lot about. Uh, and in particular, when scientists use the phrase Big Bang Theory, uh, they're really always talking about this early period of expansion and definitely not the singularity. The universe had to be hot, very hot at some moment. And in the standard inflationary scenario, that moment comes after inflation, not before inflation. It comes after inflation because inflation by its exponential growth of the universe, cools it down practically to zero temperature. So what I, I, I like to say is that the standard model of inflation is a pre-Big Bang model, because we shouldn't talk about just hypothetical singularities, which 
I maintain, they are really uh, obtained by, by using general relativity beyond its limits of, of applicability. The Big Bang or the hot phase of the universe is really occurs at the end of inflation, which means that inflation occurred before the Big Bang or is a prequel to the Big Bang. If by Big Bang you mean this hot phase of the universe. What is called the standard Big Bang cosmology, which was a hot Big Bang, right? You start with a very hot, uh, dense universe, uh, and uh, which begins at singularity. So that picture, I don't think anybody believes. The question about what happened before this hot phase of the universe is open. That is where one needs uh, quantum gravity. And theories like loop quantum gravity provide specific proposals of what happened before and also calculations which can lead to observations um, looking for signatures of this phase of what happens even before inflation. So what happened before the Big Bang? Was there an inflationary phase? And if so, what happened before that? Physicists have proposed many different models, and in our series, Before the Big Bang, we interview many of the leaders in the field to explain their ideas. You can find this series by clicking on the link in the description below.